Hi, so this is a uh, binomial distribution question. And what that means is basically we have a choice of either, either picking one thing or the other uh, a certain number of times and we want to find the probability of a certain uh, layout or event occurrence of this. So in this case, we want to find the probability of getting three or fewer women hired when there are 17 people hired, um, assuming that there is no discrimination based on gender. So if this were the case, if it were fair, then the probability of a man or a woman being hired would be 0.5. So the probability of there being less than three women hired is the probability of zero women plus the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three. If that makes sense, right? probability of less than or fewer than or equal to three being hired is the probability of three or two or one or zero. Well, the probability of each of these follows that binomial distribution we were talking about. So what's the probability that no women get hired? Well, out, out of 17 choices, that's like a coin getting flipped and landing on heads 17 times, right? So the actual formula for this is going to be 17 choose zero or um you know it might also be shown like this this is just my preferred way of showing that so 17 choose zero time right so that's how many different ways all uh, that's how many different ways out of 17 people zero women can be chosen times 0.5 to the zero right because there are no women there's the probability like you know there are 0.5 uh, the chance of a woman being hired is 0.5, and in the case where there are no women hired, then that's 0.5 to the zero times 0.5 to the seven. Oopsies, 0.5 to the 17. That's a probability of zero. Plus, and here's a probability of one woman being hired. There are 17 choose one ways to do that times 0.5 to the one times 0.5 to the 16. Oops, I did that again. Times 0.5 to the 16. Then the probability of two being chosen, so that's one. For two, it's there are 17 choose two ways to hire two women out of a group of 17 times 0.5 squared times 0.5. I didn't write 0.15 this time. To the 15, funny enough. And then for three women being hired, there's 17 choose three ways to do that times 0.5 to the cube times 0.5 to the 14. And what we can actually do here is we can just simplify this down to uh, 17 choose 0 plus 17 choose 1 plus 17 choose 2 plus 17 choose 3, all times 0.5 to the 17. You can see that all of these equal 0.5 to the 17 here. Um, and that is going to equal you know, because this is just a bunch of numbers, right, that sum to 834. So times 0.517 is going to equal 0 0.0064, All right? So in other words, there is a, this is approximately equal to that. So in other words, there is a 0.64% chance that no uh, gender discrimination is going on here, right? Because the odds of this happening in a fair system are so low that it's probably gender discrimination. So that's your answer, 0 0.0064 or 0.64%.